Hi there. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to use display filters, um, which is really a very powerful way to um, just, just make it a better user experience when viewing your data and helping uh, do some analysis sort of on the fly, really. Um, you, you may know that when you're on a layer and you go to properties, you can have a definition query. Um, so let's say I'm even interested in um, my pubs where they've got a city area code of Leicester, i.e. just the main Leicester area, and so only draw those. But that, that of course, works on the whole data set. That, that's a query, that's a database query effectively. And what I want to do, but I, what I want to do is just impact on the data I have here um, in the display. I want to filter the display rather than the original data as such. It's just what's in the display because because even if something is not in the display and not switched on, it still needs to be subject to any um, geoprocessing query, any query, spatial query that, that I want to run. So how do you do it? Well, when you're, you see in appearance, when you've got the layer highlighted in appearance, you've got display filters there. Um, you can also get it through to symbology as well, but let's just click on that one, it's easier. So what I want to say here is that I'm, I'm only interested in what's inside this sort of inner ring road of Leicester, the Leicester points um, with the city area code of Leicester. Uh, and just and I'm not I don't want to see the rest of it when I'm zoomed in. So you see that one's Charmwood. Uh, it's that area is Charmwood. And this area is probably what Bushby or something, Harborough. But in here will be city area Leicester. OK, so I, I want to have this effect where when I, when, so it's a bit sort of scaling, you know, with the zoom scaling. So, um, but it works by filtering the data on the fly. Um, that's where it power, its power is. So um, filters can be enabled and disabled here. I'm going to enable, I'm going to do it by scale with a definition. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to add a definition here, a um, expression um, where city area is equal to, and then it prompts, say Leicester, and apply okay so I now have this filter running and as you can see it's not there anymore on the, on the display so this is very much display purposes this is just sort of um, cosmetic what, what you're viewing at the moment if I was to open the attribute table there's 318 uh, records here and you can see city area is all the city areas it will remain the same through it. There's nothing selected. There's, you know, there's a total of 318 um, records. And if I was to turn the filter off, that remained 318. So I'm not impacting the, the data in that, in that way. That's important to realize that. Anyway, I'll switch on the display filter again. Um, but what I'd like to do is effectively deactivate the filter when I'm zoomed out, let's say, that's at 93, 1 to 93, 320. Let's say 1 to 100,000. So I kind of want it to last up to, so we just drag this to uh, 100,000, like that. Um, and now, if I zoom out, the ones on the outside now appear, and they will remain up here. So all these ones on the from the other sort of, you know, Charmwood and Blaby and um, what, um, all, all the other sort of areas, all those pubs are still being drawn. And as I get close, I'm now at 145, 1 to 145,000. Um, so I zoom in again and they've now gone. So the edge ones outside the city centre are gone. So now my screen only shows that those, that filtered, those filtered records at that scale. So as you can see, um, I've got these two things, two sort of filters running, one is scale, and then I've added this expression and of course I could carry on and um, add further clauses um, and, and have something a bit more complex in my um, expression which actually at the end of the day if you click this button comes up as SQL anyway so you can type it in like that if you like so um, let me get rid of that and um, take it but usually the drop down box selection is perfectly fine anyway I hope you find that um, useful. Thank you.